Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the concept of comparing and ordering numbers. This is standard 3.2D in the great state of Texas. We are using item number 2 of the 2024 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so we have a mystery number that we need to solve for. I'm gonna open up my graph draw feature, turn up to transparency so I can just draw all over this. We have three clues. It's gonna be greater than and less than. So look at, so they're gonna give us two different boundary numbers. So let's draw a number line here. And I wonder if we can probably eliminate some of these numbers simply because they don't fall within these first two clues. The, the last one will kind of really help us solidify our answer. So 89,236, right? It's greater than this, so it's going to be larger than this. It's going to be less than 91,103. It's going to be less than that. All right, so I'm going to draw a number line here. So our answer has to fall in between these. And just for reference, right, I'm just going to put some other numbers in there just as kind of a benchmark, right? So that's kind of close to, uh, let's call this uh, 90,000. And let's call this 91,000, just so we have some reference points, right? So a little bit less than 90,000, a little bit more than 91,000. All right. So let's take a look at our numbers. I just want to deal with these two first, and then we'll deal with our last one. 88,598. Well, if I extend this out here, I'm going to put these numbers out here in green. You notice this 88,000 is going to be less than the 89,000. So it's actually going to be quite a bit smaller. I'm going to put this way out here. So it doesn't fit. 88,598, simply because we're looking at the thousands place, right? They both have an eight in the ten thousands. It's that eight in the thousands is less than the nine in the thousands, which is the smallest number I can have. So let's look at this 91,057. Okay. 91, see, here's my 91,000. Here's my 91,103. So that's going to fit. I'm going to put this 91,057. You see this one in the hundreds is greater than the zero in the hundreds. So we're good there. So question mark. 89,099. Well, that's also not going to work. 89,099. It does have a nine in the thousands. That's fine. But this zero in the hundreds is less than the two in the hundreds. Still smaller than I need to be. So I've already eliminated two answers. And then I've got my 89,572. Okay, so 89,000, barely going to sneak in. But let's put that right here, 89,572. Because it's got 89, that's got 89. My five in the hundreds is bigger than my two in the hundreds, which means it's a little bit to the right. So I've only got two options here. So 91,000, 57. And I've got 89,572. Those are my two different options. I've eliminated A and I've eliminated C simply because they're either too big or they are too small. In this case, they're actually both too small. Now let's look at our last clue. That's going to be the deciding factor. Has a digit greater than seven. So I don't even need to know the value. I literally need to know the digit greater than seven. Well, if I'm thinking of digits, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Digits are single numbers, right? So it's zero to nine. Ten is not a digit, it's a number made up of two digits, one and zero. There's only two digits greater than seven, eight and nine. So I need to look in the thousands place. So hopefully I if I want to draw a quick place value chart here, right, I've got my ones, my tens, my hundreds, and then here's my thousands place. And which number has a digit greater than seven? It's going to be that 89,000. So that is my answer, D.